I suppose, yes, now that all the money's been slashed, that not so many people are going to be able to go and study, uh, which is a shame. Personally, I, I don't think I learnt that much while I was at college. I had a great time. Um, I think I've learnt much more by actually making books, um, but that you can't just do that. So my advice would be is to draw all the time. Um, I think drawing is something that you to get better at. It's like being getting training for a run. The more you run, the better you get at running. And I think it's the same with drawing. The more you draw, the better you get at drawing. And if you stop drawing for some holiday and then start again, it takes you a while to get back into it. So I would say keep on drawing. And I think one of the most difficult things is uh, setting yourself goals and targets. I, I think just when you've got all the time in the world and nobody's setting your project, it's very easy to just go off in too many directions. So set yourself um, projects or get somebody else to say, I want you to do this by this time and then you will actually do it. Or even give yourself 20 minutes to write a story. And I think that pressure makes, makes you work better. Um, but it's very hard to enforce on yourself. So if you could get somebody else to do it. But a lot of illustrators haven't gone to college um, and so you don't need to and a lot of people who are on my course are no longer illustrators or never became illustrators and doing entirely different things so I don't think it's essential. Who's my favourite of my characters? Um, that's a difficult one because they're like um, children really and you don't want to choose, well not that I have any children but you, you you know, you feel like you, you like them all in different in different ways. Um, and also, it's the one that you've worked on most recently. Um, I suppose out of the Tilly characters, Tiptoe is, um, I think, works very well as a, as a character. He's very, he's very rounded, um, but it, it changes. I think you have to love the character you're working on at the time, else it won't, you know, it won't have the expressiveness that it, it needs. Um, Penguin is, I think, my most enjoyable book to read out loud. I think I have the most fun with Penguin. Um, which book inspired me to draw? I have a lot of favourite books and favourite illustrators, um, but the one that's still one of my favourite books that was when I was a child is, and it is now um, is this one. Um, Mr. Magnolia by Quinton Blake, and um, I'm sure everybody knows it already. It's actually written to me in it when I was a child, so that was very, very special. Um, and I think it's Quinton Blake's sheer exuberance and um, life that I completely loved when I was a child, and I remember poring over um, the pictures. I was a very, very slow to start reading but pictures I just would spend hours and hours looking at so I think I have a lot to thank Quinton Blake for. Um, what should be an Ever Illustrator's Toolkit? That's difficult because um, I have different tools for different things. This is my beloved old paint box that I think belonged to my dad and um, I've had for years and years and years and um, you know, I, I use the same little block of paint for about ten books, so that's very special. But these are really, really useful. Um, these are just little sketchbooks that you can buy. And I think because they're not posh and with hardbacks and with special paper, you can just scribble all over them and it's not so scary. Um, and they're great because they're sort of book-shaped. So um, what you can do is you can actually write your story here's one that I've done with one of the Tilly ones, you can actually write your story in it as though it's a book and you've got the page turn and all that. So I have, I get through hundreds and hundreds of these, so I would recommend them. Um, my biggest achievement, that's, um, I, so I think, I've, well, I'm very lucky to be, to be doing it. I've enjoyed making my books into puppet shows, that, that is, um, it's been great because it's a shared experience. It's quite sometimes quite lonely when you you know you're working on your own at home um, and you get a book and it, you sort of celebrate it. But 
when you're working as a team, as in with a puppet team, um, something good happens and we can all celebrate together. So I suppose it's that shared achievement of everyone putting in their different talents, talents, not talents, that's the most rewarding.